Hey, what's up guys? So a very important video today. Give me five minutes of your attention or maybe less than five minutes and I'm gonna show you something very, very cool. How to spot short squeezes so you can get in before the trade just like I did on eyes and made a really good profit. Now, eyes what I alerted here, if you can see, I said guys, eyes look really good for a swing trade and next thing we know, the eyes were just ripping and we entered here and the eyes just started ripping and we took profits all the way up on top and I'm going to exactly show you why we entered here and what's the top process and what you can so you can do it yourself. All right guys, so let's look into it. That was a 25% gain, it was a really nice one and I'm going to talk about this but before we do, uh, just a quick announcement, uh, I am going to be doing a how to do technical analysis and develop a complete trading plan live class tomorrow on YouTube so um, make sure that you stick to that and then also next week is going to be the class on how to take advantage of tax uh, traders tax status so if you're a day trader and if you want to learn how to take advantage and minimize your taxes for your tax season make sure you subscribe to the channels because we're going to be doing the class next week all right so let's get into it number one the the ticket number eyes e y e s and what was that i'm going to talk about the whole the whole scenario okay so the number one thing you need to notice is that eyes has been for the last few days it was just decimated the stock just kept going down and down and down and that's when the short squeeze really happened the short squeeze basically what that means that people who short the stock thinking it's gonna go down but it doesn't and then it causes them to get stuck in it and they have to buy back their shares to cover their loss so in this scenario we're gonna look into exactly how it happened okay so notice here the stock went up first down really really quick and then it started to make these wick candles what this wick candle means is that when the stock comes up people sell it the stock comes up people sell it the stock comes up again people sell it and it causes these wicks okay and then when these wicks are created it means the stock is probably going to go down even more and that's why people who when the short sellers see this wicks action they short the stock they start to short the stock right here and then because they can see it's a clear resistance okay and if you draw a line what they do is that okay if they short the stock right here on this area they're gonna put their stop above this resistance so if the stock goes above this area which is these wicks they're gonna cut their loss and they're gonna buy back their shares okay they don't want that so when they start to short now what happened here is that and that's what causes a short squeeze. So what happened here, notice here, instead of the stock going down, the stock went up and it broke the resistance. the stock had a huge massive surge. So what that means is that all the people who shorted the stock here, they had to buy back their share which caused the squeeze, okay? Now once it happened, it caught my attention, okay? So, but what really, really caught my attention is this part. So what happens is there here is that now imagine anybody who showed the stock and did not cover, they're hoping the stock come back down again, okay? So when this happened, when the stock came down here, they were hoping that it's gonna come down, but look what happened, the stock immediately pushed up again, okay? What that means is that anybody who was short and was hoping that, oh my God, I hope the stock comes back down, it did not, now they're stuck here at this area. And that's when I said, guys, eyes are looking really good. So what I did was I found a new support. So notice here how the stock kept staying above this $14 area. It went up and it started to hold down. So this is the area where I decided to buy. Now, one thing I did was, which is a lesson here, is that before I used to buy on top and the stock was go up and I would buy on top and it would come down and I would get scared. But now what I do is I will wait for the pullback on the support. So that's why I said, guys, I'm looking to buy on support. So when the stock goes up, it comes back down, you buy right above support and expect that support to hold. Because I know people are stuck here, so I'm buying right above them, okay? So once that happened, stock immediately started to push up. I took some profit here. The stock had a really nice squeeze, and then I took some profit right here. And then finally when it came down, I was hoping for a $20 target. It did not, so I took my final profit right here, okay? And here it is, I said, guys, I is looking really good for a swing trade, looking to get around a $13 to $14 area, which was right here. So as soon as it came down, I, took, I, I got here, okay? And then when it went pushed up, I took profits, profits 1720, which was right here, 1720 right here. And then you see how it came back down all the way, so I took my final profit at $15. Now, imagine this if I had not held, if I had not sell any of my stock, and you know, hoping for a $20 target, right? 
I would have just lost everything I made and stock actually crashed down to like $12 actually after market today. So that's why it's really, really important to take profits along the way. That way, if it does crash, you end up profitable. Okay. And if it doesn't crash, you make a lot of money. So that's it guys. That's how you figure out the short squeeze. You figure out where the shorts are going to be stuck at. What are they going to be thinking? Okay. And if they're really stuck, that's when you want to get in and look for a stop loss right below it. So if I had gotten here, my stop loss was below. If it had come down all the way back here, I would have got stopped out and or not. If it didn't work, if it did work, I took profits. All right, guys. So that's how you figure out a short squeeze. If you guys like this, uh, like this, uh, lesson make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be posting these videos every other week. Alright guys, take care. Bye